Hello, people. I had an idea. Maybe personality is just a means of communication. I've always thought of it as an intrinsic quality. But maybe personality doesn't exist unless there's an observer. Like, I've noticed a phenomenon whenever I try to do something different. This happens sometimes. Sometimes I'll do the thing that, is, that I'm trying to do that's different. But sometimes my, you know, personality or my normal self comes out or my normal social self comes out in, in that given circumstance depending on who's around like I'm at, like if I'm around a guy named Joe and, and I, I'm around Joe all the time when I'm around Joe I'm when I I'll be thinking about all this personality stuff and I'll be doing all this stuff but in my my room by myself or or just with the camera or you know just for the hell of it to try and I'll go to Joe and then I'll speak to Joe exactly how I always speak to Joe there is no real Joe, but you get the idea. I'll speak to my coworkers exactly like how I speak uh, to them normally. And that happens like uh, probably more than 50% of the time. So I'm thinking maybe personality is a um, really just necessary for communication with other humans. And, you know, like this camera and all of you that are watching, you know, the camera represents all of you that are watching is another person. And even when I'm making my own videos, the camera represents another person and that other person is me. Even though I'm not another person, I'm going to be the person watching the thing on the camera that the camera has recorded. So, um, it's very interesting. So, I mean, I like to record myself quite a bit to see how I'm behaving. But I, I think it's kind of like, uh, I was trying to think of an analogy, but it's, it kind of doesn't work that way. <laughs> That's, it basically just doesn't work that way. You can't talk to a camera and then see how you're behaving because it like takes another person and I'm, I never see myself talking to another person like sometimes there's well there's an exception like if my uh, mom comes into my room I know how terrible that sounds Ooh, little uh, man child I'm practically a man child but We'll change that someday. Um, but anyway, she she comes in and and I'll be making a video and, and then I'll start talking to her, and then uh, and then I'll you know watch the video of me talking to her, and my face you can see I'm a lot more engaged than I am with the camera because the camera is not another face looking back at me. So everyone that's looking at me that I'm talking to is seeing someone that I've never seen. You know? So I, I can't really approve or disapprove of that me that I've never seen. I've never seen myself react to someone else's behavior. You know? And since my personality works and it's automatic, it seems unnecessary now to experiment with alternate personalities, except for my own amusement for recording, you know, characters, but not for actual practical use in, uh, in life. But, um... 
It just seems like a, a mode of communication. Because I talk to myself also. You may judge it, you may think it's weird. I talk to myself. I feel like it's like me... It's like me validating my existence. It's me, like, needing to talk to myself, needing to record myself, saying to myself, I exist, I exist, I exist, I exist. Listen to me talk, I exist. Look at me on the camera, I exist. Look at me in the, on, the, on the video, I exist. I guess I feel like when I'm not talking and I'm not doing anything, that my personality will somehow uh, slip through my grasp, which is weird. Weird. It's a weird uh, thought to think, but I feel like it won't. It won't come back. But it will, because it's it's automatic. But I feel like I have so, have tried so hard to control it. Yeah, it's enough food for thought. Ready? See ya.